Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cold Case Files, a Rime of the Frost Maiden campaign. And here we are for episode five. Probably check that before going live, but here we are. So, episode five of Rime of the Frost Maiden. Thank you for bearing with us through the holidays as we took a little bit of a break due to scheduling issues. And but we are back now and ready to start 2021 with a bit of a horror campaign. So, a quick recap, and I'm not going to waste too much of your time with this recap. But our adventurers were making their way north of the spine of the world to Icewind Dale for their own various reasons. As they traveled north, they were forced to start working together as an avalanche collapsed upon the road, forcing them through a tight passageway that ended up in a room full of uh, awakened animals. Although this part all took off off stream, just so you know that uh, you didn't actually miss anything there. After making their way through these caverns and helping out a bit they made their way to the ten towns where they got into a, a bit of antics a woolly mammoth was slain dire wolves almost killed mina uh boda found a chwinga they found their sister aunt's uncle's brother who were all the same person in one of the towns and they continued making their way north to the target destination of east haven which for some reason edgar was dead set on getting to in a reasonable amount of time after arriving just as a blizzard set in, Edgar was anxiously awaiting in a tavern, and during that time, Mona's interest was captured by a seance, in which they found out that a ghost inhabited this tavern and shared some information about the town. Fast forwarding a little bit, Edgar managed to find his way to a cleric who made a deal with him. She would help him out with his uh, abdominable... Tr abdo abdominable? abdominal troubles if he would go on an adventure and find a cauldron of plenty to help this city this town through its lean months which seem to be never ending these days edgar did what he does best and he drafted up a notice asking for adventurers to go ahead and find this cauldron for him so that he could pay them to do his dirty work unfortunately for him hawk found the notice and decided hey we're suited for this and they went off and after negotiating with a hag, managed to get the cauldron. They made their way back to East Haven, and Edgar rushed his way back to the cleric to prove that he was successful in his mission. And as they opened the doors, they found the cleric was in fact being assaulted. They opened the doors just in time to see a tall, dark man stab a dagger of ice into the cleric's heart before dashing towards the back door of the And that is where we left off last game. And that is exactly where we'll pick up. And I just real oh no, that's yeah, I just realized I've been muted this whole time. <laughs> that would have been funny because that would have been, been like the fifth time. Oh man, yeah. That would have been absolutely iconic. Uh, can yeah, anybody yeah, else that would have been hear... that would have been perfect. Can anybody else hear, like, a news feed in the background? Or yes. Yes. Perfect. I'm not going crazy. I hear nothing. Let me mute myself and see if it's somehow coming from me. Nope. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> so I muted myself for the stream and not for you guys. So hold on just one second. Hey, Chad, keep quiet. Audience. That's what's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. And unmute. All right. So I was unmuting the, the stream before I admit you guys. They're more important than you. Um, <laughs> so... The first thing that we're going to do in this new year in 2021 is well, actually first thing is first i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to share the battle map with you although it does uh make the blizzard that's happening for the stream go away but good okay. Ooh. Ooh, we're on a roof 
So you are technically in that building. Um, I just did not <laughs> build it so that you could see the inside. Because you guys won't be in there for very long. Oh. Spoiler. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to drag me out of this room. <laughs> Stay in there for a long time. So to set the scene, you are in a small temple. And uh, the cleric who holds Edgar's life in her hands is currently collapsed on the ground with a dagger of ice stabbed through her heart, slowly melting. A tall, lean figure is darting towards the back of the temple and throwing open the door. And at that point, I know that Hawk said that he was interested in doing something and that something was an attack. So that means that we are going to go ahead and roll some initiative, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. Of course. Killing it. Oh, one. Why is it always me? <laughs> Dude, it's not. Also to know take off unconscious effect on Lona. Oh yeah, it totally is you. <laughs> when was Mona unconscious? I think you're the only one of us who's never been unconscious. <laughs> And fantasy grandma. Like, oh, snuck you know what? It was probably when you were leveling up and you might have scrolled your HP down instead of up. So it was like, oh, hey, you died. Um, uh, okay. Mind me, was guidance cast on you some point um, in the last like 30 minutes of our last campaign? Me? Rob, the roof that we're on is not showing on the stream. I know. I know. Okay. It's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, I do not believe I had guidance cast on me. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that as well. All right. So give me just one moment. And I will uh, go ahead and make it so that, first of all, the stream can see. Because I'm getting yelled at. Oh, I'm going to do the thing that I never remember to do. Oof. I'm going to figure out what my experimental elixir is. Because... Oh, yeah, go ahead and do that before we get into this. <laughs> and I'm just pulling up the page to... Light. It's an ex it's an elixir of flight. Elixir of flight. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, uh, and with that, we are going to kick off this combat. Uh, in fact, here, I will... Uh... Actually, toss this guy into here so you can see him. Oh, goody. I'm going to tiny, tiny Stark him soon, so. Dapper fellow. All right, uh, so, Mona, what would you like to do? Also, sorry, I'm assuming this is this is the the man who did the stabbing. Yes, this is the man who did the stabbing. <laughs> okay, just, just clarifying that. That, that dapper stabber. Dapper stabber. Um, we met the dapper stabber. <laughs> oh, he's never losing that okay. name. <laughs> um, I. Ooh, um, I am going to cast. Or actually, I've I've dug myself into this hole before. I'm going to say, um, who are you and what are you doing here? All he does is, uh, I mean, he can't do anything because it's not his turn, but he is still making to throw that the door has been thrown open. And it looks like he's about to dart outside. He does not seem to react to your uh, your call. All right. Um, what is the terrain um, directly outside of the door? It is that. All right. So cobbled brick. <laughs> okay. Yep. Exactly. Cobblestones okay. and uh, very snowy, and it is, uh, you can see out the door, it is snowing outside. Okay. Um, I am going to cast Eldritch Blast. Gotcha. Like you do. Like you do. Okay. 
I just need you to roll the hit first. I'm sorry, it's been... It's been... <laughs> Like it's been over a month or something. I'm so sorry. How do I do that again? Uh, it should be the D. There should be a D20 roll or somewhere. Pull up your character sheet. The um, do 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 under Eldritch Blast, the one that looks like a D20 next to cast. Or, or yep, you okay. can pull ranged plus six, one of the two. Ooh, uh, 22. That does hit him. So a purple blast of energy rips out of. Mona's hand and strikes this man for oops not hawk ow <laughs> strikes him for hawk <laughs> my computer hiccuped right as I was letting go of it and it scrolled from the bad guy to you it's just too dapper so yeah the, this purple blast of energy slams into this guy's back and he stumbles a bit and he kind of throws you a glare over his shoulder. Uh, do you have any bonus actions or movement that you would like to take? Uh, nope, that's it for me. All right. And it is his turn next. So he gives you a bit of a smirk. And you watch as the charred skin along his neck from your Eldritch Blast pales and smooths out. And he just kind of gives you a, a wink and a nod, and he <laughs> looks back out the door and disappears. Son of a bitch. Now, when you say disappears, he run around the corner? Is this like nope, he that vanished. homeless uh, man he, on uh, he, uh, he Polar looked Express? out the door, and you see his form turned to mist, and he disappeared. Okay, so homeless man in Polar Express. I've never seen Polar Express. Oh. oh, Rob, that is a tragedy. No, it's not. No, no it's not. <laughs> uh, Especially because you were on a rip off of that. Cool. I mean, on that uh, note, Edgar, you're on. Um, I'm going to run up to the cleric, and so I'm going to we'll pull say that she's the... right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run up and just... I don't even think I like dropped my knees next to her. I think I dropped my knees on my way and slide up <laughs> next to her, rummaging <laughs> through my bag. And I'm going to pull out the wand of cure wounds that she gave me. Oh, cool. Nice. I and I am going to. I don't know how many charges it has. Uh, I thought I told you. Normally seven. Unless... It, on, it only says that it has a certain number of charges and that. Once it's used, it vanishes. Yeah. I want to say she gave you... Oh, I swear that I... I know that I had said it. Um, I don't remember what I had said, though, so I'm going to roll a d6 plus one. Six charges. Six charges. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, so could, this will let me it's... cast Cure Wounds as a third-level spell on her. All right. So, so that as is you... a lot. Yes. Uh, that is... Do you know the exact dice count for that? Uh, it is 3d8 plus okay, my go wisdom modifier. Go ahead and roll that. Actually, you have Cure Wounds as a spell, don't you? Um, that is a good question. I do. I don't. I have okay. Healing Word. Okay, um, so I'm just going to do... roll the 3d8 yeah. plus your... Uh, Wisdom, and I will. It's actually your spellcasting ability modifier. Yeah. Yes, but for this one, it uses wisdom as mine. Oh, yeah. Items that's use weird. different things than your... Uh, so that's eight yeah. plus your wisdom, which is... It is nine... It is nine... Or no, ten minus one. Ten minus one, so nine... Uh, so nine hit points <laughs> as, you, as you touch the wand to the, uh, the the ice dagger that is sticking out of her chest. You watch as it melts and she gasps for breath and she looks up at you and then promptly faints. But she does seem to be alive and well, uh, just she is not an adventurer, so ouchies. Ouchies, McSnouchies. Yeah. Um, uh, so that was your ice action. dagger in the heart. Ouchies. 
<laughs> I'm supposed to still be on the battle map. Oh. The dapper stabber. Yes, he is. Oh. You're looking at so the we're stream not right out now. Of initiative aren't you? Order? No, you're not out of initiative nope. order at all. Okay. Uh, so stop. Mina's going to run to the door. The, so, uh, stop looking at the stream. I'm looking no, at my screen, dude. All right. He's on ours. Yeah, it's on our screen. Oh, that's right, because I gave you guys party vision, so you can see what each other sees. Ah, it's the only way party. I can get the stream to be able to see things, so that's fine. All right, uh, so Hawk, you're up. All right, uh, I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike on myself sure. and dash out the door. All right, as you dash outside with your perception, I will say that you do see him rounding the corner there. Okay. Because I have 65 feet of movement. Uh, oh, I can dash. make it okay. to him. No, Zephyr Strike gives me just an additional 30 for the round. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to take two scimitar attacks. Uh, no, reg uh, regular. I'm just going to do... A... No, yeah, scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give myself advantage, because Zephyr Strike is amazing. Nice critical hit. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Oh, Lord. 24 points of damage. <laughs> so your first slash, you just slash across his back and he screams out in That would have killed me. <laughs> A lot of things Don't have killed you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's not hard. Take away... Seven points of damage from that, though. Okay. Yeah. Got added. Because if I got Zephyr, I put Zephyr Strike on myself, so it auto added the extra force damage. Oh, okay. So I just double added that. Oops. Because I can't do the the Horizon Walker ability. Like I, I can't put that. Eh, I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Okay. Um. Let me know. But you need to I can't do. It'll be a custom ability thing. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna... I can't use my offhand, so I, that's it. I'm gonna just kind of stand right next to him. All right. Threateningly. Cool. <laughs> Mina, that's you. All right, well, I'm um, just gonna run to the door, because I think that's as far as I can get. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as your dwarf legs go... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have 30 like, feet. I have a plus five from something. I can't remember what. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, I do remember that you have that. I don't remember what it's from either. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Nope. Oh. Anyways, so uh, you get to the door. Go ahead and move your token. And what's your passive perception? Let's see. Are you going to ask me questions like that? You know, passive perception is 12. Uh, so if you want to... Uh, no, because Hawk's right there. So yeah, no, you'd be able to tell where the action is. Right, but I can't do anything about it because I'm not going to shoot Hawk. You can you can still shoot him. He just, he's not in your way. Oh, okay, good. Fifth edition, there's no... Uh, players um, don't get in your way for things. I'm going to Tiny Stark him. All right. Go for uh, it. Start uh, I, I updated that today, by the way, so it's actually using your spellcasting um, bonus instead of your uh, dexterity, the way it should oh, be. Oh, excellent, because that helps. So Mina lifts her hand up and with a smirk lets loose a bolt of lightning, and as it crackles through the air, the, cold, so much of a the cold wind... Um, blows actually like a big chunk of snow in the way and you watch as the energy dissipates into the air 
And we're back to Mona. Damn it. All right. I am going to... Is the door? Am I able to squeeze? Yes. Past you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, it is. Um, it is difficult terrain to move through, or uh, yeah, to move through an ally. So it just costs a second movement. So it's extra movement. So it's. I think it's my armor that gives me the plus five. I think you're right, and um, so if it would, it's normally like ten feet of movement to get where you are. So now it's fifteen to get across her. Okay. You're fine where you are. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, okay, so I am going to uh, I am going to use chill touch on the dapper stabber. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Six, unfortunately, does not hit, or uh, 12, sorry, does not hit him, unfortunately. Um, so oh, as you raise your hand, this blast of icicles comes out from your hand and just kind of bypasses around everything. Get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> and just a reminder, if you drop those dice right onto the token, it will actually uh, tell you hit or miss right away. Yes, thank you so much. Yep, it's been a month, it's fine. All right, so <laughs> now his turn. And the first thing that he is going to do is... So, Hawk, you watch as that wound that you just caused on his back starts mm -hmm. to heal and close. Not completely, but uh, it, a lot of the damage you just did just uh, is healed. He does turn to you quickly, and uh, with his long sword, he takes a couple of swipes at you. So, first strike is a 21 to hit. Hmm. Yeah, just checking something, so... So, the first hit deals 14 points of damage to you. Oh, I okay. think Greg is frozen. What's up? I think Greg is frozen. Oh, no? Mm. Yep. Better, he's not breathing. Uh -oh. Greg. Oh, wait, no. There he is. Okay, you're back now. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're very stuttery. Are you on Wi-Fi or are you on uh, cell service? I'm on Wi-Fi, or at least I should be. Um, I just got rid of background blur, so that might help. A little bit better, yeah. Uh, gonna go ahead and... Yeah, no, I... So, Hawk, as you watch, he actually, in his offhand... Um, a dagger appears, and it's a dagger made of ice, and he, and he slashes that at you. And strikes you with that as well, so he slams this dagger into your side. And, mm -hmm. God, why is it rolling that much? <laughs> uh, hold. I do not want to be rolling that much damage. That's a D twenty. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'd still only roll like two, but that fix it? Nope. Okay. Um I'm just gonna have to modify this damage a little bit, but we'll see. Uh deals I uh, rolled a bunch of ones, so I'm gonna leave it. Deals four, uh, twelve points of damage to you as he slams this dagger into your side. And then he winks at oh, you. Eight points, but yeah. Uh, yeah, right, because you've, you've resisted a bit. Yep. And he, he uh, gives you a little bit of a wink and <laughs> um, glances to his right and disappears. Oh, now he bamps out. Into a, p a puff of smoke. Or a puff of mist, rather. Edgar, you're up. Just um, a step. Can I do a medicine check to see whether she is 
like doing okay or if she's sure. in need of further healing. Okay. Uh, 16. So yeah, you, you do a quick check and she's doing okay. She's just, she's, she's older and a bit frail. So the shock of, of, uh, having a dagger stabbed into her heart, essentially dying or coming close to death and coming back has just been a, a bit much for her. So she's literally just fainted at this point. Okay. But she's not going to like die if I leave no, no, her No, she's alone. completely stabilized. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to the door and is, is everything okay? Is, are we, did, did we get him? Did, did he get away? As far as I know, he, he bamfed out of here. I have a feeling he could still be nearby. Oh, don't uh, get me uh, wrong. I think so too, but it mm. goes. Well, um, I can do my best here, and I'm gonna sort of stand in a defensive position in front of the cleric because sure. if he can, <laughs> if he can go poof somewhere else, he can go poof back here. Sure. Uh, that's fair. so. Is that your turn? Yep, that's my whole turn. All right, Hawk, you are up. Try one more thing. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm um, gonna cast ensnaring strike on myself. Right. And I need you to roll me a perception check to see if you see where he is. Yes, I realize that you see where he is on the map, but <laughs> no metagame. Perception Arctic related or no? Um I will say yes because it is the snow that is giving you the difficulty. Okay. <laughs> so that 14 accurate? Mm hmm All right. So, yeah, uh, 14. You, you take a look around, and you do see a shape. Uh, you're not 100% positive it's him, but it's a shape standing on a roof and, um, and moving away from you. So you can make an educated guess. Okay. Plot this on damage. And... Need to figure out how those all. It has like three effects that you can place on things. Uh, sure. Yeah. So let's see if I can hit this guy. Uh, Eighteen okay. does hit. Yes. I do that. Right? So you unleash Plus. an arrow and it kind of like moves through the air. The wind is pushing it in different directions, but it strikes true and hits him. Yeah. Right? Uh, so that's a DC 13. See if I can make him. Yep. Yep. Oh. So he does. DC 13. Yep. He, he succeeds with a 13. Um, Dang it. Okay. I'm trained. While well, it's strained, it takes damage. Okay. So. Alright. And I'll slowly walk back. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Mina, you're up. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back in and check on the cleric with Edgar. Because I can't go very far. I don't have great perception, so I'll let Hawk handle that part. <laughs> Alright, does she need anything? Uh, no, she just is a bit frail. She should be fine with some rest. Alright. So what are you doing? Uh, well, if he comes back, someone should be here to, I don't know, by time before the rest of you can come. All right, so I'll wait with you so that someone can hit him. Perfect. Okay. All right, I'm hanging out with Edgar. 
What's up? All right. Uh, Mona, you're up. All right. I saw a Hawk looking around the corner there mm -hmm. and shooting. I am going to cast invisibility on myself. Nice. And sorry, each square is five feet, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna move. Um, and I believe that's all I can do for now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get a better look at him. Sure. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. So you can, I can say from where you are, even though the battle map's technically saying no, I, you can, yeah, I can. yeah, you can lean around the corner a little bit and you do see him up on the roof um, right there. Just so you know. All right, cool. Thank you. And that's going to be your turn? Yes. All right. So you watch as on his turn, he sprints along the rooftop. And you see him drop off the other side of the roof. Moving away from you all. Hmm. So my question for you all is, are you planning on pursuing him at all, or, or are you staying here in the temple? I'm staying here, but that's just, uh, unless someone tells me we should go after him, I'm just going to stay here. Uh, well, we got a decent look at, at him, so... I'd say no. I, I... All right. He's on the rooftops. He's going to keep bamfing away. Yeah, then we'll drop yeah, out of initiative order. All right. Uh, can I do a arcana check to, or a medicine check or something to see if I can wrap my brain around what's causing him to regenerate like that? Um... Like, is there anything characteristic about his specific regeneration that I might have learned about? In my studies. So you didn't get a really good glimpse. I'll give you an Arcana check on it. Okay. Because he, the first time he did it was while he was still in the temple with us. Correct. Ooh. 20. Uh, so, again, like, you only caught a fleeting glimpse of it. Um, you do know that there are plenty of creatures in this world that can regenerate um, from damage. Give me... Uh, actually, I, I'm I'm less looking for I, I'm less looking for exact answers and more of a what should I look into? Like, you know that generally different regenerations can be stopped through various types of damage, um, but it, it differs depending on why they're regenerating. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm. So that that villain, he the damage you did to him, Mona didn't seem to stick. Wait, is our Mona's not with us anymore? Is she, she's nope. that's right. Yeah, never mind. I am not with any of you. I totally she believe that Edgar <laughs> did say that, anyways. It all yeah, happened. I like fast to say it, and then look, and she's just gone he's like well no because mina would be like uh i'm mina <laughs> <laughs> Mona, mona's just... outside well, when did that oh god i am going to head back in though as as i've seen that he has dropped off the other side of the building and hawk seems to to not be interested in pursuing him either Do you think, do you think the cleric will will make it? Is she going to be okay? 
she's fine. She needs rest and to not be stabbed in the heart again. But is it now? She she's she's stable. She'll she'll be okay. Everyone needs to be stabbed in the heart every once in a while. I think mm-hmm. is it safe to assume that none of you knew that man, the winking man? No. <laughs> I. I the dapper stabber. Who, wait, who no. was he winking at? Was, was it you? Was it Paul? Was it, was it me? No, I'm pretty sure it was at Mona since he healed after, you know, she hit him with something. Maybe he has oh, a twitch. Oh. Um, right, uh, he healed himself. Mona, what? By what method do you did was that was that burn actual fire? Or was it what what when you shot him? What did that consist of? Like what oh. made up what you did? Sorry, can you repeat that? I'm having a hard time hearing you. <laughs> Sorry, everything just got very fuzzy on my end. Um, <laughs> it's the it's the doors. When you when you when you fired your the purple flame you did is mm-hmm. that actual fire or is it is it a magical substance what is it that you hurt him with oh very good question I don't know how much time you have um, it is I um a, think of it as a dark fire um, it does eat away at the skin which is why I was Curious in pursuing him. I have never seen anything like this. Have you, but Edgar? It's, it's, but it's not its not actual heat and flame, is it? More magic. More magic than flame. Okay. In, in some of my studies, we, we would do different um, dissections and uh, different lectures on creatures that had different regenerative abilities. Uh, usually there was a way to counteract the regeneration with uh, either intense cold or intense hot uh, electrical forces. Mm. It really depended on the mechanism by which they repaired their flesh. And normally uh, intense heat and burns are harder to regenerate against. But if yours was just a magical sort of destruction of the flesh that could be I guess fixed but I don't really know uh, I mean I, I haven't seen anything in practice really it's all just been books and I've never seen anyone regenerate like that so I we would need I would need more data to figure out what we could harm him with if we rob again. yes when I stabbed him did he bleed great question um like, is there blood on my sword? There is. Um, it's weird. So there's something on your blade. It's not... It, it does not appear to be blood, however. Um, it's more of like a... For lack of better terminology, a goo. Um, it's, it's, mm. it's somewhat viscous. Uh, like a paleish blue color. Great question. Inspiration for you. Have I seen this before? You have not. Okay. Have I? You have not. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I couldn't before think of you guys good... ask, no, Mona and Medgar, you have not either. I wasn't going. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and you have a, I mean, an extra vial. I haven't seen, I haven't even seen Hawk yet. An extra, an extra vial, what for? For this. And I, I gesture to the, uh, the goo on the blade. He doesn't oh, bleed, or at least he doesn't bleed mortal wounds. You wounded? Yes. Um, I'm going to take whatever uh, like sort of metal scoop I have and just coax as much of the the icker or goo into vials. Sure. As so much like it's, as many vials as I get. It's not much. What? Um, you you have? I mean, Hawk, you did move back inside, and you're moving the sword around and everything. Um, and it, so a bunch of it is dripped off, but you have, you know, a, 
if, if the vial's like this big and you know one of those tiny little vials you probably have a quarter of it full so enough for a sample may i do an arcana check on the viscous goo <laughs> uh, yes that's a sentence are we gonna become the ninja turtles oh no <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so it it's hard to tell exactly what it is it it seems to be something that you're not used to seeing in mortal creatures um it is <laughs> something more in the elemental realm Ooh. All right, well, I'm led to believe that perhaps he's not fully human. Um, I, I don't quite know, but um, in my studies, this type of thing typically doesn't accompany um, a, hu a humanoid creature, more, more of an elemental type being. But he appeared just like any other person that we've seen on the street. To recap as well, when I was getting stabbed over and over, uh, the <laughs> dagger, was it formed, was it just a dagger that formed in his hand, or did his hand form into a dagger? Uh, it was a dagger that formed in his hand. Okay. Oh. Important distinction. Yes, very and important now distinction. That you, now that you think about it, as he was running away from you, you did not notice a sword on his hip either, and yet he did attack you with a sword. I figured that. Mm. Um, we should probably Great Final get... Fantasy fifteen. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> we should probably get this cleric somewhere safe, and we should probably do it with as little notice of the outside world as we can. If someone wanted to bed, they're likely going if this was a, a hired hit and it wasn't just a lone attacker then there's probably going to be some attention around here soon i can turn the body invisible while we transport if that would be helpful if someone can carry her yeah Hawk. Okay. Uh, well, what, wasn't there supposed to be a murder that would happen today? Yes. Yeah, yeah, there was. This could mm -hmm. presumably be that, and this could be the assailant or part of a group of assailants that have been performing these assassinations around. Mm -hmm. I thought there was right. already yeah. a lottery. There was um, someone was yep. was chosen at random mm, to be killed. Not that, not that one. The no. serial killer that's been going around. I think you're right. I think you're right. That would make sense. Or she was a sacrifice, but I would have thought no. that'd be a more formal thing and not and I, uh, I don't Stranger the Night. Very well. But weren't there like bestial wounds on these people who've been murdered? A good question. What notes do I have about murder? I that question. Uh, <laughs> dwarf, old talking murder victim, Bryn Chandir, so spree of... in this, this temple, is the horror? This is, yeah. this is my true crime finish coming out. <laughs> as you are sitting in this uh, temple and the winds are picking up outside a dark twilight of the late afternoon actually get darker as the day presses on the evening. And mm -hmm. if you will recall... Uh, you do still have the cauldron of plenty and an invitation to speak to the speaker of the town in town hall pressing upon you as well. It 
it seemed, if you recall, less of a, hey, why don't you come over, and a more of a, we need to talk. Yes. Yes. Um, we should, we should bring her back to our room at the inn, and possibly someone can stay behind and watch her while the rest go to see the the keeper mm. of the town, speaker town. Mona, you like yes. to sketch things, yes? I do. Uh, how good are you from uh, uh, sketching from memory? Um, pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'd say we try to do a illustration of that individual as best we can. And Mona, why don't you go ahead and give me a performance check? Can I help since I can I help since I've been very up and are, close and personal to him? <laughs> are you are you trained in performance? No. Um, so this is not so much a performance check to see if you can remember to put it down. This is literally how good your hand is. And okay. if you've ever tried to draw something, as people tell you how to change it, you know that it sometimes. <laughs> no, no, make the, yeah. make the nose bigger. No, not that big. Uh, yep. No. Yeah, performance right. check. Yes, absolutely. But just for fun, I will be adding a drawing in my notes. <laughs> of the dapper stabber. Did it? Or did it go? It did not. not. You have to drop it. Oh. Either, yep, into the chat box. Oh. I saw that too. Thirteen. Thirteen's uh, enough. So I mean, you're not going to be winning any awards for this drawing, um, but mm. it does. My parents told me that. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. it does bear a strong resemblance to the man that you just uh, briefly chased down through the through the snow. Um, strong enough that you can put some people in this trail pop. Okay. Just so we have it to either show an in show someone or to reference later. I, Ed Edgar, um, I know you were concerned about somebody staying with the cleric at the inn. Um, I I do I do have a strong feeling that this man might track her down and come back and I, I do have an interest in speaking with him if he does so um, I would be comfortable staying behind if that's okay with everybody else so you're going to try to ask the assassin questions about what he's doing um, well in that time I could spend I, I could also spend some time in the room and try and analyze what we've, the, if we got from him alright so let's think about this yeah. Who has the best chance of hurting him should he come back? Not well, you. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I could possibly concoct mm. something that could prove harmful to him and well I also do lack a sort of physical Fightability, but uh, as it seems, none of us were able to harm him. I, I slightly glanced to the what remains of the ichor on my sword. And just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't say anything, but <laughs> I feel as though that there may be something darker at work here, and I'm I most likely he was a pawn. I'm confident out of all of us that I may have the best chance of taking him on if he comes back. At the very least, like a bishop? Maybe a rook? Mm. I seem like a pawn. I mm. have some <laughs> questions for, for this cleric when she, come, when she comes around, so I will be staying with her. All right, Hawk and I will go. All right. Excellent. So you're going to split the party? <laughs> when you say it like that. When you say it like that, no. <laughs> I, 
Damn. I didn't say it. I just summarized what you said. <laughs> yes. See, when you say it, so happy when you said it. So. <laughs> All right. So, who's going to carry her back to the room? Right. I thought so. I'll do it. Gotta give me a strength check. Just right. lift. Oh boy. Actually, no, what's your strength? 17? Uh, 16. 16. Uh, yeah, no, you have plenty of strength. Um, <laughs> so with your So, what is the plan? Get her back to our room in the inn. Leave Edgar and Mama. to give the cauldron of plenty to the cleric? Was that the quest? Pulls out the. Uh, <laughs> the notice does not specify where it has to go. Uh, Edgar, if you'll recall, she wanted it for the sake of the town. And we yeah. still don't know that Edgar put up the uh, listing, correct? No. I, th uh, I, think I believe when we I found out that listing. Hawk is pretty damn sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hawk knows I... and Mina knows. Yeah, because Mina overheard me talking to uh, okay, the yes. cleric. So the only one who doesn't know is Mona. It's <laughs> um, like, wow, this Edgar part... doesn't know that the others know. Um, and, uh, I believe the the listing specified that the cauldron was supposed to go to the cleric. That's why we were coming here in the first place. Mm. I oh, pretend gotcha. to look over and... No, yeah, yeah, put it away. <laughs> yep, thought so. Right. Shall we get on with it? So, were we going right. to cast invisibility on her before we moved her? Yes, let me do that. This won't look strange at all. I forgot I had the blue light filter on my computer that turns on at 9 o'clock and everything just went <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh. She doesn't have a token on the map, correct? No. Uh, no, she does not. We can All just right. say she's invisible. Invisible. It's right now. Pass invisibility. Excellent. So just uh, burn up that spell slot for me, and yep. Cool. So, all right. So you guys uh, are yeah. making your way back to the inn. Yes, that is the plan. C. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. Perfect. So you you start to, to move through the streets, and again, as you've noticed uh, in the when you, in the uh, temple, the wind had started to pick up. <clears throat> Excuse me, and so you do see a. It's not quite a blizzard that you dealt with when you first got here, but it's it's enough of a snowstorm that it's definitely making travel difficult for you. It's taking you a little bit longer to get through. Even uh, e even you, Hawk, are finding that you know, it's not hard to, to move around, but it's it's not as easy as the as you're used to in these these types of situations. So, you move towards the inn and something really Oh no. What, just because your DM is checking something, you get scared? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because it's you? Yes. I said what I said. <laughs> you checked something and then secretly <laughs> rolled something. I meant That's cause for concern. And you, so you make your you way open back. Open the door and let me just roll this dice. <laughs> so you make your way back to the tavern, uh, fairly uh, unhindered aside from the weather. And you make it back and, and you go inside. Uh, and you do catch a couple of odd glimpses, Mina, as as you like you're shifting her weight on your shoulder every once in a while. So it kind of just looks like you're walking like like this. And once in a while, you're just like eh. we're a traveling theater troupe. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a, a couple of people at the bar like they stop with their glass half of their give you a, a look, just kind of roll their eyes and go back to work or work. Yeah, go back to drinking. She's an excellent line. Say that again. Isn't she an excellent mime? <laughs> that makes a couple of them stare at you longer. <laughs> Let's kind of watch. 
And you make your way back up to your room, and uh, you you get the door closed behind you. Um, and the four of you and an invisible cleric are in the room now. I'm gonna keep her onto the bed. All right, so Edgar, you wanted to stay with her. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I want to make sure she doesn't get killed the second time. And if she wakes up, I would like to ask her some questions about, you know, stabbing. Are you? Do you feel confident that you would be all right if you stayed by yourself? I'm a little. Oh God, no, 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 by, by myself. No, that's a terrible oh, idea. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't <laughs> want to assume um, that that you needed pr protecting, but I, I was a little concerned. Please, um, please always assume that I need protecting. I, I hired Hawk to protect. That was me my assumption. Oh, oh, oh well, well, stay alone with a. A potential murder victim when her her murderer might come back. Oh, well, um, I I apologize. <laughs> no, that's, that's quite all right. Just. Oof. All right, Mona, do you want to stay? If not, I can stay. Um, I would like to stay. Um, I also I would like to spend some time going through my tome and see if I can find anything that might be relevant. Fair enough. Uh, by the way, who's carrying the cauldron and how? Or how are you transporting the cauldron? Because uh, it was attached to the dog sled that you guys rode back in, and then you returned the dog sled. So I've just been assuming that you've that probably Hawk has been dragging it behind him through the snow this whole time. Because is it like a full size this is not a like... cauldron? This is a like four foot wide cauldron. I'll be honest, uh, I was picturing those plastic like trick or treating buckets. Uh, Just I like on you, were, like... you did not get this at Savers. Okay. <laughs> um, if I'm right if I'm now, able to carry it on my own, then I'll probably me. It. <laughs> if, if I was able, able to carry it on my own, probably me. If not, then probably with someone else. And so you definitely weren't able to carry it on your own. You could have dragged it on your own, however. Yeah, yeah I figured we turned it on its side and just kind of rolled it. <laughs> Powerful magical artifact. <laughs> 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 told you it Less damage than dragging on the ground. <laughs> it's <snow. laughs> It's a magical item. It's not gonna get hard. And it's on snow. <laughs> Turns out the the murderer was just having like was building up to the stab, but. Heard someone kathunk, kathunk, kathunk all the way down the street and decided, <laughs> gotta make this quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mina, and, Mina and Hawk, what is your plan? Are you headed back to the town hall? Yeah. So, right. You two are now headed back to literally 15 feet away from where you just were. <laughs> Same little. Uh, are you bringing the cauldron with you or are you leaving it in your room uh leaving it in the room oh yeah, yeah we're supposed to mm -hmm. be fitting it to the right. cleric so it makes sense sure. so we are going to follow Hawk and Mina for the time being and we'll come back to Edgar and Ben just a few so you make your way back through the streets and again, just the, the snow is picking up and the, the night has, or the evening has turned to night now. It is very dark. Uh, there are some lanterns around, but uh, as you know, you're thinking that uh, even the lanterns, just from the wind, they, they have a habit of just getting blown out. So you walk through pockets of darkness. After about a half hour's worth of travel, which is a significant amount of time for the short distance that you had to make it, uh, you do finally make it back to the town hall. Uh, I assume you enter. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and you enter the, the town hall and you step into a room that's approximately 25 feet deep by uh, 50 feet wide. There is a small 
I don't want to say dais, but a raised platform that has the desk, like a front desk type of thing in front of it and two staircases leading up to the side. There is a door to your, uh, in front of you to the right and in front of you to the left. So one on either side of this uh, raised platform. Um, and there is a clerk sitting behind the desk. Hmm. All right, you talk. Uh, before I do, what what did the note say again? To which note? Just come here. Did we get a note? You oh, we just got a note. You you uh, spoke to the captain of the guard who told you that the speaker wanted to speak to you because he had heard that you uh, had been successful in your venture to the um, Ag's Caverns. Okay. It's been a little while. Yep. Uh, that's why I'm. That's why I'm uh, going back on my word to stop giving you guys hints. Tonight is your last <laughs> night, though. You're on out. You struggle on your own. Unless we go. Don't worry. Just really everything down. And we'll get that stupid feat <laughs> that allows really you to just know everything that you ever. No, I got the other one. That's game breaky. The one where you can oh, read lips can. From anywhere. Oh, just yeah, go I'll back and watch the old episodes yeah. and figure it out. I can read lips. And um, I apologize. I just uh, I I had the, was opening the map as I was telling you guys. So I just wanted to um uh to to correct myself. There is actually a just a door ahead to your right. There's not one to your left. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll walk up and uh, we're here to see the is it the speaker speaker. Yeah, we're here to see the speaker. So this, the clerk behind the desk is an, an elderly gentleman, probably in his mid to late. He looks to be in his mid to late 70s. Um, so he's definitely older and frailer. He just kind of gut. Hey, what? Who? What? Who? What? Oh, the speaker? Oh, no, it's far too late for that. Uh, come back tomorrow. We've been told it's urgent. We have news about the Hag's Cave. What? Who, who are you? Who? What? Who? Who are you? All right. Who I get that we woke you up, but could you just get the speaker for us? It's important. Well, who are you? Mm. We're told to come here. What's your names? I, do you have an appointment? I am There's Nina. Software. This is Hawk. And we, we recently spoke to Captain Nina and Hawk. And he, he pulls out like this big. Well, I don't have patience for this. We were told by Captain Ardagath to come here. Oh, you want to speak to the captain? Oh, yes. Uh, We've already spoken to the captain. The captain told us to come see the speaker. Uh, 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 let me check. That's another page. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. I have a note right here that when you come to see us, that you are to, to be allowed in to speak to uh, the speaker. Yes. Hmm. Uh, uh, one moment, and I, I will uh, I, I will get you an escort. And kind of looks to the side of his desk where the staircase is, and you see him push himself up with effort and hobbles down. And he bangs on the door. <laughs> and then he hobbles back up the staircase and sits down. And after a minute, a, uh, a young guard comes in. Uh, yeah, what you want? Uh, these two are. They're, they're here to see the speaker. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, come on. Follow me. Right. Follow. Yep. You walk into the, the back room of this... Uh, uh, of this town hall, uh, you you pass through. Uh, first thing you pass through is just an administration, administrative office. There's some desks, and uh, you can tell that this is where like a lot of paperwork gets done. There's no one here at this hour. Um, in the next room, it's a fairly large room that you step into next, and you do see there are low burning lanterns that are cast a, a gentle glow on a tall black object in the center of the room. Um, it, it looks like a statue to you, and it is carved in the likeness of a winged demon. Um, and you you actually recognize it a bit, uh, a hawk specifically with your perception. It looks very similar to the stone that uh, Mona gave to the hag in exchange for the cauldron. Hmm. 
so he, he makes his way past this and uh, you do notice lashed to the figurehead with a rope is a scrawny woman who is dripping wet her long white hair hangs over her face obscuring it Uh, <laughs> are we still being led past? Yep. Or are we, is this where we're stopping? Nope. He is leading you past the statue and towards a door in the uh, a little bit of a back hallway. Um, he just walks past it without even turning his head towards the statue. It's uh, a statue of someone. No. It is something. It is attached. a black stone statue of the same stone that me that Mona had. Uh, Gotcha. and lashed to that statue is a real a person <laughs> woman who being wet with long white hair draped over what's she dripping wet with okay okay other things can be wet like blood i think i would have specified if she had blood I dripping down her so, but never <laughs> Weird. You keep following but the guard. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, as, as you move on, I look at him and say, "We'll check that out on the way out." <laughs> Mental note. <laughs> as you move on and you you get to the doorway, who uh, the, the guard knocks on the door. You do hear behind you as the woman just goes. <laughs> I I lean down to Mina. This is a weird town. This whole thing is weird. From inside the office, you do hear a, uh, a, a crisp response of, Come! And you are led into a small, not too small, but an office where a, a, um, a fairly pale man, scruffy beard, kind of messy hair, uh, sunken eyes. Uh, I mean, I'll, I kind of describe most of the people who you've met in the ten towns. Uh, but yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's uh, sitting behind uh, the desk. There's tapestries and painted landscapes decorating the room, um, and in the middle, there's a large table surrounded by high-backed wooden chairs. Um, and uh, so this this man is. Um, sitting behind uh, the in one of these desks at the or one of these chairs at the table just kind of scribbling some things down uh, yes how can I help you oh. uh, we're here we spoke with the captain uh, we have gone across the lake to one of the caves um, there was a hag in there and oh yeah those for there's only two of you. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry, did you lose your friends? No, they're resting up at the end. At the end. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Hags are not the most in and out uh, with all four friendly years surviving, features. huh? Look at that. Ah, uh, yes, so... Um, you lost a dog. Sorry for your loss. Uh, so, uh, as <laughs> I was saying, so you made it back, and I, I, I hear that you, you brought with you uh, a prize from this hag, Yes. Maybe. Uh, is that a maybe yes or a maybe no? Uh, that's exactly what maybe means. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's kind of rubs his eyes. Well, right, we brought back you... information. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm just gonna kind of put this out to you. You came back into my town with a large cauldron strapped to a dog sled, which you then proceeded to drag through the. So let's not play this game and let's get on to the next game, shall we? Oh, you started the game? How did I start? The... I know back to not having time for this. All right, so here's the deal. We are extraordinarily appreciative of your efforts with the hag. She won't be bothering us anymore. No, no more, no more stolen animals. No more missing fishermen. Yes. Yes. Gilder, right? We were not sent to kill her. 
No, I I don't remember killing her. People want to know how you got the right. So, Cauldron, uh, my my advisors have told me that she had been secreting away a cauldron of uh, plenty. I believe they called it. Uh, we. Yeah. So so here's the deal. Uh, if you may have noticed that food is a bit scarce here in in ten towns, East Haven, we're we're faring better than some towns, but um. Not that great to be completely blunt with you, and uh, that that item there that would be mighty, that uh, would be mighty uh, helpful to us. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay my deal out on the table. I'm willing to pay you five gemstones worth five hundred gold apiece for use of it for the town. Uh, Can I? <sighs> Can I insight check okay, him? But, yeah, yes. I was gonna say. Can I insight check him to see if? He One is saying that he. With no, advantage. Plus five. You do it. <laughs> I feel like Hawk has better insight than Mina. Well, just maybe. in general. I don't know why you would think that. I don't know why I rolled with advantage, too. Because but... I just told you to. Because she's helping you. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, so, 12. Oh, um, good. We dropped a one. <laughs> that's yeah, right. good. So, <laughs> rolling great today. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the you you had said that there was something in specific you were checking on? Uh, specifically to see if the inflection behind the words are using it specifically for the town or for the higher ups of the town. Uh, it's hard to tell that specifically, but um, is he there's any what like I will genuine? Tell you with that insight, is that you know what this cauldron makes and. It would be a really shitty plan to feed the nobles with that tasteless gruel. Oh. <laughs> um, so with with that knowledge and what he said, he seems to be gruff, but and he probably won't, you know, give them a bounty of food out of it. You don't even know if this thing can provide a bounty of food, but um, he does seem to be on the up and up. Okay. All right. All right. You gonna be here for a bit? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm definitely going to be here for. So, so you're you're accepting the the deal? I'd say yes. Oh, yeah. excellent! Uh, that's great to hear. Okay, so uh, I can get you those gemstones first thing in the morning. I just got to go collect them from uh, from from uh, some of the nobles here in town who uh, who owe the town a bit of back taxes, if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send an escort back with you to uh, wherever the hell you're staying. And we're my only request is that uh, I don't want anyone else getting at it. So we just need to keep it under guard. Uh, so you you and your companions are welcome to guard it. Uh, I am perfectly happy with you doing that. I would just like it if it was here in the town hall so that we could keep, you know, these stone walls around it, too. But you're, as I said, more than welcome to help, the, the, you know, protect it, make sure nothing bad happens to it. Keep an eye on it. And. I'll even put it in writing. If I don't show up here first thing tomorrow morning with those five gemstones, you're free to take it out of here. You good with that? Yeah, sounds fine. So he, he jots down a quick right. note and stamps his seal on it. And as you get the note, you look at it, you're like, yeah, those are kind of words. Uh, like he's got uh, clearly politician's handwriting, but you know, there, there's enough words visible that you get the gist of it that, yeah, that this will do what he said. Um, and honestly, it's got a seal on it, and if nobody else can read it, you can make it say whatever you want. Um, so, so he, he seals that, and he hands it off to you. Perfect. All right, so, uh, let me get you, uh, a few guards. Uh, what do you think? Four are gonna be enough? Four plus us? Four plus you, yeah. I, I mean, to go back to, uh, where, again, wherever you're staying and, and getting it to bring back here. And then... So here's the deal. You can stay in and guard it overnight if you want to keep eyes on it, or I, I can uh, set six of my guards to guard it over. That's just that choice is yours. Hawk, mm. what do you think? Uh, we can bring it. In, you said uh, either bring it in the morning with four, or uh, no, no. So they either way, it it's going to come back here tonight to get guarded here overnight. It's just depending on. Is it going to get guarded by you overnight, or is it going to be my guards guarding it? And I'm just going to send a team to protect you as you bring it back through the streets. Just, you know, play it double safe. I think four is plenty. All right, perfect. 
So he uh, he steps outside. Hey guys, I need uh, I need four of you to go with these two and uh, just keep them safe for me. All right, and bring them back uh, here with whatever they got. Uh, in fact, uh, you two, you're gonna carry it. All right, I, I think it's gonna be heavy. And he points at the two dumbest looking guards, and they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, all right, boss. Yep, we got this." <laughs> well, you're pretty sure right. one of them is not a half orc, but he's probably at least an eighth orc. Like he's just got that. The, the, the jutting jawline type of thing going on. <laughs> uh, I get that. Cool. So as you guys start heading back towards the tavern, we're going to jump back to Mona and Edgar. So you guys are sitting in the the tavern, um, and Mona, you're going through your spell book that you actually have sitting in front of you. And <laughs> Edgar, what are you doing during this time? Uh, I'm going to do a either an, a check with my alchemy kit or something like that. I want to try and take small amounts of the sample of Icar and see if there's any acids or things I can put it through, like uh, electricity or intense heat, intense cold, to try and make the Icar react in a way that would, I don't know, lead me to learn something about the creature sure um let's see here i know you've got some tools on you and some skills in those tools you've got an alchemist kit right <laughs> yeah i would hope so i am an alchemist. proficient with an alchemist. <laughs> um let me just think here how i want to do that why don't you go ahead and roll me um, so it's going to be your spell casting modifier um, with proficiency because you're proficient with the alchemist tool set and you're going to be doing some experiments. So let's do a set of three skill challenges. Um, okay, with and my if proficiency you, and So you already modifier? gave me a, a good description of what you're trying to do overall. So I'm going to give you advantage on this first roll. Oh, um, yeah. Let me um, take a look at what where I can find this. Nope. Where's my spell modifier? Spell casting uh, proficiency. Your spell casting should be um, intelligence. So it's an intelligence roll plus your proficiency, which will uh, you can basically roll a history check that has the same stats or an arcana check, actually. You want it to be more thematic. Excellent. That's not what oh, I saw that rolling on that. Oh, that was so All right, so <laughs> a um, 21. Oh, no, that's still a great job, though. So 21. Mm -hmm. um, so you you start, like, carefully just siphoning out, like, a couple of drops, and you're doing some experiments. And the, the first thing that you're noticing is that it's uh, – this doesn't seem to have any life to it left. However, it still has enough essence left to it that you're getting something out of it. Um, and so the first thing that you're noticing through these experiments is uh, that it is definitely an elemental-based substance. Um, it appears to be... Uh, just from the, the temperature, like, as you touch it, it's always cold. I mean, granted, everything's cold here. But even though you've been sitting by the fire in your room and everything, you touch this ichor, and it's it's still cold. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll me a... Or tell me what you next want to do, and if you roll it. Okay. Um, so if it's always cold in nature, I'm going to try applying various amounts of heat to it. Perfect. Go ahead and roll that uh, Arcana thing. Uh, check at uh, advantage again. So as you start applying uh, 22, nice. So as you start applying the fire to it, um, you're not noticing that because you had tried a couple of other things against it. It's not doing any more damage per se. However, you do notice that it I don't want to say shies away because it's not sentient, but it does. Um, it's so you know when you, you you put like water on a hot surface, how it's got that phobia uh, where it, it hovers above the hot plate. It's kind of like that effect, except for in this case, um, where it's just staying away from the heat and kind of just like pushing, getting getting pushed away from it. 
Okay. Uh, if you have enough information, we can end there. If you want to get a little bit more information, you can try one. Um, so it's always cold. It shies away from heat. And it's viscous. Now, does it seem viscous and sticky or viscous as slushy? Great question. Viscous as in slushy. Okay. Um, I know that salt raises the freezing temperature of water and the boiling temperature of water. So it, salt, I'm going to see if I apply salt, salt, salt to it. Freezing temperature. Right. No. Opposite thing. It, it makes it freeze it up <laughs> at a lower temp vegetable. <laughs> yes, salt makes it harder to freeze and harder to Yeah, it raises the boiling temperature, lowers the freezing temperature. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going oh, to add God. salt to this slope. Interesting. Uh, so go ahead and roll me another Arcana at advantage. I already gave you inspiration, by the way, for asking that slushy question. <laughs> 17 uh, so you start to apply some salt to this and um, it does not seem to have any effect okay well I do know that heat will do better against it if we use heat in the future um, but not magical heat it has to be actual fire oh magical fire probably but her fire is not Actually, fine. That concludes what I needed to find out about the Icar. Thank you. So as you finish up your experiments, uh, you hear a stirring from the bed. And you hear a voice coming from... Actually, uh, check something. Maybe. I'll say it again. Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, you, you hear a stirring from the bed, and you hear a voice, and you look over to the bed, and there is no one on the bed. Uh, but you'd, you'd see the bed depress a little bit, as if somebody who is still invisible, because somebody oh. never stopped casting invisibility on it. I had to check and see how long invisibility lasted. I couldn't remember. Um, and she oh. you just hear a voice. What? Where, where am I? Oh. Oh, young man, you're back. And that is where we're going to go ahead and take yes. a quick break. Yay! Yay! So we will be back at 9.45, so that is 13 minutes. All right, so I will see you all in about 15 minutes. Well, we...
Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Sorry, we're a couple of minutes late here. Uh, we were chatting about things in the background and lost track of time. So, what we theater left, intermission. An invisible cleric sits up on the bed in uh, the tavern, uh, the, the hotel room. Parties. Like to do. Uh, are you. Are you feeling all right? Uh, uh, I've, I've felt better, but where, where am I? Um, you're in our room in the local inn. Um, sorry, do you Next remember question what, why? Do you not remember being stabbed? No. Oh. Uh, I remember a gentleman coming into the into the temple. And do you... he accused me of rigging the lottery and then you walked oh. in and that's all I remember. Um, did he say why he thought that you rigged the lottery? Just that he knew. Did you rig the lottery? N again, I have no stakes in this lottery, so if you did, that's fine. No, I would never do something like that. Can I insight check her? You absolutely can. All right. You can Mine see. is one. It's a... That was so perfect to doing a one. <laughs> Okay, um, I believe you, uh, but, so, what you don't remember was there was a little bit of time after I walked in to the temple with my compatriots and a knife walked into your heart, and we then tried to chase just, him out. Just a quick reminder. Possibly the reason your insight check was so low is because you can't see her. Yes. <laughs> Which is good because if somebody comes back looking for her, they won't find her. Just checking to make sure that you remember. Uh, I'm not, it's I'm a probably spell, not I apologize. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm probably not even looking at her. Like, I'm looking okay. in her direction, but probably missing. Um, so, <laughs> So someone, that that man who accused you, do you know him? Is he from, I, do you know him from the town? I've, I, I think I've seen him around town before, but I'm not 100% certain. Okay, well, he did stab you in the heart with... Yes, you said that four times now. <laughs> well, it bears repeating, it's fairly important, it was almost the end of your life. Um, he also, I was going to say, he did save your life, so... Oh, yes. No, well, um, thank I, you I, I did, for that. I did save your life. But... Oh, no, is that the cauldron? Did you, were you successful? Yes, we were. We were Excellent. successful. Ah, that's very good news. Ah, yes, so you must be looking for your restoration then, yes? Um, yes, yes, I... Am uh, looking yes. for yes, that. let us get that nasty slard out of your stomach then, shall we? And she hobbled, uh, you know, your feet hit the ground and kind of shuffled. And you what? watch as this energy kind of comes out of nowhere and then her form reappears as she casts a spell and uh, get intense pain in your stomach briefly and then it just dissipates away and it is gone. And you feel a pressure that has been with you for many months disappear. Months? <laughs> oh no. Did you just hear his ideas? <laughs> ah, yes, those Thank things you. are quite nasty. I would not recommend getting yeah. scratched by one again. And she kind of pats you on the cheek and what hobbles was back it? over to the bed. <laughs> you so, don't know. You're not here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah you're right. I don't. Uh -uh, and you'll never know. <laughs> Edward, were you the one who put up the listing about 
the cauldron. Um, yes. Yes, oh. I was. Okay. <laughs> now, um, I'm sorry, I thought, I thought you said before I got the cauldron, you weren't able to do that for me. Uh, no, I, I specifically told you that I was capable, and I was the only one you would find in ten towns capable. But I needed you to do me a favor first. I knew that you had at least another week before it hatched. Whenever in real oh. danger. Uh, okay. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, before yes. what hatched? Oh, uh, there was a red slard incubating in his uh, chest area. And if oh, I that's fun. another three weeks, give or take a few days. Oh no, you had about what? six and a half days left by my estimate. Ah, uh, well, if I had not found a way to prevent uh, to remove it, it would have burst from my chest and killed many people. Uh, starting with you, my young boy. Well, that's what happens when something bursts from your, your chest. You yes, <laughs> it is die. true. Things entering and exiting your chest, it seems, are not good for your health, yes? <laughs> well, outside of it. Never mind. Sorry, um, too soon? No, <laughs> I came to peace with that a bit ago. Um, yes, I didn't want to, to tell any of you because, uh, well, if if this didn't pan out, our options were limited, and well, yes, there weren't there weren't very many pleasant options left. How how did this happen, Edgar? It's not that important. It's not something that will happen again. Let's say it's not it's not a common occurrence, and it's. No, not I would say not. Really I don't even know where you found one of those beasties. Clearly not north of the I never like the cold weather much, do they? Well, there's also not much north of the spine. Yes, that's just true. Um but yes, it's no longer it's no longer a concern, so Ah, yes, so uh, uh, the cauldron then, yes, uh I, I, I do believe that uh, the, the speaker will want to uh, speak to you about that. Oh, um, oh. our friends are uh, with the speaker now, so... Oh, perfect! Perfect! Oh, yes, there are more than just the two of you, of course. Huh? Um, I, I know you said that you don't, you didn't know that the stranger who came in and attacked you very well, that you had oh. seen him around. Um, but perhaps someone who has healing knowledge, such as yourself, would know. Um, we, we were fighting with this man and, um, one of our party members, um, struck him, I hit him with some magic and it seemed like his skin regrew or he cured himself. Um, have, have you ever seen anything like this? Well, I did, I did just heal your friend over there with magic, so yes, I have seen healing magics once or twice in my day, dear. This well... Um, this this was something that appeared to be more, I guess the word would be um, if elemental, um, not not human. Oh, it sounds like you encountered something with regenerative regenerative ability. Yes, thank you. Uh, there there are definitely some. Uh, depends on um, where you are. I know that in, in the Southlands, uh, trolls seem to have regenerating abilities. Uh, uh, here, north of the, the war, there are several elemental beings that might be able to do that, but uh, I, it's, it's not uncommon. But beings that can take a human form? <laughs> well, I mean, many beings can take many different shapes and go undetected for a long period of time. Friends, foes, you never know. Is this something that's common here? In this town? Uh, I, I, many things are common here in the ten towns. <laughs> <laughs> it's very ominous. <laughs> God, a red slot. That's... That, that dog came back. Our missing dog. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a harpy yeah. got it. Harpy took our dog, I think. Sorry about that. My dogs were going insane. To me. <laughs> Send harpies. I, I, I would say that many weird things are happening here north of the, the spine here in Tan Towns ever since Aurel made her herself known. In fact, they they do say that that the Frost Maiden herself lives lives on a misty isle hidden among the bergs of the Sea of Moving Ice. There's a mighty strange whale with a boat on its back that slip, swims in those frigid waters. I am frantic. Mona's frantically writing notes as the cleric is speaking. There's just a lot of info. <laughs> if you're interested in chasing that lead down in terms of weird occurrences, uh, you can catch the whale at Angajuk's Bell in an old anchorage. You, you, if you ring the bell, the, the whale appears. And do you think that maybe all these strange occurrences are are tied to Ariel? Uh, it it is possible, of course. Uh, it's and it's hard to say. I'm sorry, you you're very casual about the fact that there's, for one, a ship on the back of a whale that we can summon with a with a ring bell and. Two, the fact that you were stabbed and almost died. I once upon a time ventured across the lands much like you. This was not the first time that I have been close to the gates of death. Oh, okay. Understandable. We've all been there. Yep. Keep in this line of work and I'm sure you'll be there as well someday. But you seem to have good friends with you, so... I would wonder, uh, are there any libraries around or places of knowledge or learning where I could do some more research on the elemental man that we fought today? Any sort of, you know, uh, you're, scientists? You're looking for a civilized library here in the Ten Towns, are you? I, I do believe that your inn here might have a, the largest collection of books, and they are mostly for leisure. But are there no, no places of learning, no collections of knowledge? No, I, I, I understand that people this far north don't always write things down. Perhaps there's an... We write it down plenty, my dear. We just, we, we are fishers. We, we are trades folk. We, we do not have universities or anything of that sort here. Okay. Uh, well, perhaps someone who knows legends of the elemental creatures. I know you have a rich... a rich... practice of faith with Oriel, with different traditions. Perhaps there's someone who can tell me more about elementals. Uh, well, let, let me think about that. Uh, I, well, I, I can't be certain, but, well, possibly, possibly Bran Ra Raven, too. He, he does a bit of, uh, of research into the oddities the past few few years, uh, he might be able to assist you. Uh, he spent some time uh, at the, the the White Lady Inn. I don't know if you know where that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, he, uh, probably in the tavern there would be the best place to find him. Where are we again, by the way? We're in the White Lady Inn. Oh, well, isn't that convenient then? Yes. What was his last name again? Uh, Raventoe. I like that last name. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we I'll definitely, I'll definitely talk to him about that in the near future. Uh, but for now. I think we should best stay with you in case that 
murderous elemental comes back. Uh, so so I, I am to stay here with you in your room, then? Um, well, it's ultimately up to you. You're, you're a free person, but I would suggest, at least until we can inform the Watch of this attempted murder, or find someone to... What, what have you been doing all this time, if, if not informing the Watch of, a, of an attempted murder? And That's... as you ponder that question, the door opens and Mina and Hawk walk in. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> hey. Mina, Hawk. Uh, <laughs> with four guards in tow. Oh! Mina, Hawk, the cleric is alive and awake. Oh, hello you two. How are you? Nice to meet you both. I understand I have you to thank for for my life being less, um, stabbed. Yes. Right. Mostly Edgar, though. But... Yeah, that was... How do, how do the guards Edgar react mostly... to the empty space dock? Oh, wait, no. Nope, she cast a spell and no longer invisible. Never mind. I remember things. <laughs> really talking empty space, not that weird. <laughs> not in my life, anyway. Well, there's no talking empty space anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, we spoke to the speaker and discussed the cauldron. And oh, uh, we're going to sleep in town hall tonight with the cauldron. And these some... four gentlemen here. Guards. Well, that sounds very cozy. I think I will return to my temple, if you don't mind. It shuffles out the door. Uh, 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 okay. She doesn't know anything about the person who stabbed her, other than he accused her of something, and she may have seen him around town before, but wasn't sure. Shouldn't we As she's leaving, he's like, so you don't need the cauldron? <laughs> We offered to let her stay with us, and she's apparently declining. Mm. All right, not going to worry about it. Uh, shall we go? We're getting some money. By the there, way. there was somebody that I believe we wanted to speak to that the cleric told us about who's probably in this tavern. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Bran Raventone? Yes, Grand Raven, so we wanted to ask him some questions about elementals. Um, we could either do that now or we could escort the cauldron back and ask him tomorrow. Um, I'm fine to ask him some questions. Uh, Hawk, might you also have some questions for him as a tracker of some... Maybe he could give you some insight on where to search? Possibly. Um... So the cleric doesn't need the cauldron? No, it's for the town. She's doing a public service. She wanted us to get it, so she would have to heal less. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean in to him and just go, So why did you put a bounty on the cauldron? I was just going to lean in and say, Do they know that you're the one who put up the listing so for the- Hawk and Mona both <laughs> lean at the same time and say <laughs> these things. Her <laughs> face turns bright red with embarrassment. I... <laughs> don't understand your question, Hawk. <laughs> and... <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, Mona, no. <laughs> yeah, Greg, that's um, perfect. That's exactly the color face that Edgar's uh, face turned. <laughs> and Edgar is going to uh, walk downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's then going to walk back into the room, start packing up his alchemy kit. Mm. <laughs> So Edgar walks, he walks out of the room. Comes approximately back ten seconds later, he walks back into the room, packs his alchemy kit, closes it up, latches it, puts it under his arm, looks at you guys, walks back out of the room. Oh, the entire time, no eye contact. Does not look <laughs> at a single person. <laughs> <laughs> Do you head downstairs to the, uh, the the bar area? I'm going with him. I'm also going with him. Mm -hmm. 
Are you keeping no eye contact? Is that still your plan? Oh uh, no, the the no eye contact was just <laughs> until he like like when he exited the room, re-entered, packed everything up, and then he like looked in the general direction, nodded, and then walked downstairs. <laughs> and sorry, so the guards are gonna be like following us everywhere for the time being. Uh, well, they'll yeah. probably stay here with the. Uh... So is everybody leaving the room? I'm going with Edgar. Ina, you oh, already you said doing? you were Hawk. Are you staying in the room, or are you going downstairs, too? The cauldron's still in the room. Correct. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to stay with the guards and the cauldron. If, they, if they're going to take well, it downstairs as well, then, the yeah. the big guy with the big jaw. Could be, so, uh... We're going to carry that back now, right? You coming with us? I guess so. All right, let's go. He goes over. And the, the other guy goes to help him pick it up, and this guy just walks over and just, like, hefts it up and tosses it over his shoulder. You, knowing how heavy this thing was, you're fairly impressive. And he just starts walking it out. He does hit it right up against the door frame as he's leaving. <laughs> Whoopsie. Go. Uh, yeah, so I'll follow him downstairs then. Do I see him leaving with them? It's very hard to miss. You have a very large <laughs> six foot five man with a cauldron slung over his shoulder walking into the tavern. Fair enough. I mean, Apparently, stranger things happen in this town every day. So <laughs> this is definitely drawing attention. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Edgar, what are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going downstairs, and I'm going to inquire about a Bran Raven toe. I'm kind of clinging to Edgar because he's doing what we're both after the same thing. Go up to the bar and there's a dwarf behind the bar and he's cleaning out a mug. What you want? How you looking for? Uh, is there a Bran Raventoe in ascendance tonight? Hey, Bran, you here? Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there... <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere we could meet, we would find him that he, if he's not here. Look like his doorman? No, uh, but we were told he would might be here. Annie, and... maybe. Where? <laughs> I, am I his butler? My baby sent him on the weekends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You've been ever so helpful, and I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Weekends. <laughs> All right, well, she's gonna drink. I mean, you, you grab a drink and you start drinking. Uh, the four guards are walking right out the door with this cauldron. And yeah. Hawk. You going with them, Hawk? Yep. All right. Is anyone else going with? I know or? where they're going, so yep. I'm gonna have a drink and then I'll go meet them. Yeah, I'll call Hawk then. You following suit, uh, Edgar? Yes. All right. So the three of you follow the guards out in, in blowing snow and you make your way toward uh, Town Hall. A again, it takes about a half hour to get there. The winds start to pick up a bit. Mina, can I get a survival check for your trek through the... Yeah, you're alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, as, like, as we're walking through this town, like, huh, hope she's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. So make my way you, down you make way, your way through the town, and there's one point you like you start to take a left turn. You're like, nope, nope, ain't here. <laughs> you're turning, <laughs> and it takes you a couple extra minutes to get there because of those quick little falls. Make your way to the town hall. <laughs> so you make your way inside, and this map, so you can just get a lay of the land. Oh, well now we get to see the town hall. I considered dropping you on before, and it just, uh, to be honest, it wasn't worth the, the effort for the, uh... That's fair. No offense for the two of you. Uh, I probably wouldn't have done it either. You're fine. Right, so we do that. Map so often in battles. So. Cool, mm -hmm. so that just broke. I'll give you guys your 
I'll give the stream their vision in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had this all set up beforehand, and it decided to reposition itself. Oh, fun. The three of you can see, right? Yes. Possibly. I can see it. Little mm -hmm. three by four. Yep. Oh, here, yeah. Right. I'll open the door for you. It didn't lock. Oh, thank you. Such a gentleman. You're going to be party vision. Is the cauldron in there with us? Yes, the cauldron is in there with you. Um, going to draw something because I could not find a good image of a cauldron. So you get a black circle. With my beautiful artistic skills. Oh, <laughs> The, the dents and bends of us <laughs> rolling down the street. <laughs> so yeah, you are in the, uh, the the jailer's room down here. So they brought you into the town hall and they actually brought you down those stairs that uh, you had seen when you first entered the, or when you walked past that obsidian or that, that dark black glass statue. You do notice this time as you walk past, there is not a uh, Hawk and, and Mina... Uh, since Mona and Edgar, you are not here. There is no ropes. There is no person. There is no hint that there is water on the floor or anything. It is just the statue this time you walk past. Another mental Did note. Did you just fall down? Looked like Carrie fell down. <laughs> no, sorry, I was moving my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's okay. <laughs> Sorry, no. I'm good. <laughs> um, great, so she's just gone. Great. Who's gone? All right, so, uh, yeah, so you guys are here in the um, town hall. Of, of, and... The night starts off uh, fairly boring. You've got your um, your four guard friends, who I will onto this map as well. Uh, oh, we're gonna get snuggly, huh? Mm. Well, only a couple of them are gonna stay in the cell with you. Still, for some reason, that G looks exactly like the little icons they would use in um. Our biology textbooks for the A, T, C, and G for Oops. for DNA, and that's just immediately my mind. Right, it was like G, G, C, C. Funny. We're learning. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, this guy can leave the tracker. There we go. I was going to say, I think they all just plane shifted. Uh, it's. The way the encounters work on uh, Fantasy Grounds, I forgot for a moment. Uh, cool. I don't want to have to fight them. <laughs> they, they are yellow. Don't. They are neutral. Okay, good. For now. Yeah, yeah for now. Until you try to off. stab them. But only for now. Um, Mina, you, as we were walking, you said, oh, she's gone now. What did you mean by that? There was a woman... Uh, tied to that statue back there. Uh, she was all wet and drippy. What? The... I'm sorry, there was a, a woman tied to the statue that yeah, was all wet said. and drippy. Right, the guards that's what I said. are looking at you like you have four heads. Are you messing with me again? Hawk, am I messing with him again? No, but I think this is a discussion for another day. Fair enough. Because we've seen no. weirder things. So, <laughs> not much weirder, but weirder. Is that going to be your uh, motto for this campaign? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I've seen Stranger Things. No, it can't be that. It's copyrighted. Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Stra stronger things. Weirder things. <laughs> We've seen stronger, stronger things. things. So, stronger things. <laughs> so you guys are uh, are chilling out in this um, 
this this room with your cauldron. Uh, what is your plan for the night? Uh, <laughs> Greg. Good question. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, Amina's gonna snooze. Mm-hmm. Sorry, is the expectation that we are staying with it at the town hall? Yes. Okay. You don't have to, but I am. I don't want to go out on my own, so I, I'll, I'll stay with everybody as well. Edgar? Yep, so we're saying. <laughs> what yeah, are you going to do? I am going to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, sleepy time. So is anybody staying up or are you all just going to go to sleep? I don't. I mean, sleep. I'm going to stay up for four hours and then go to a trance for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> <laughs> So the night starts to pass, and it, I mean, it's hard to tell time, especially when you're down in a underground area, but um, you, you stay up for a while, and Hawk, you go ahead, and you start to, to doze off. Mona, you are still uh, awake and aware a bit, and uh, you, you hear, uh, actually, roll me a perception check. Oh. <laughs> Perception. <laughs> you hear Tape. that Edgar actually snores quite loudly. Hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got an extra space now. All the extra space. <laughs> <in my> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so as as he's laying there and he's kind of every once in a while, like he kicks a leg up onto the cauldron, he's using it as like a footrest. <laughs> He's, it only he's having the best night's it. sleep that he's had in a very long time. This poor <laughs> ancient artifact. <laughs> a taco is not going to do more to it than <laughs> we already have. <laughs> so, as you uh, as you are sitting there, you do hear, um, after a while, a bit of noise out in the hallway. And uh, one of the guards ends up, kind of looks at you. Drugs and walks out into the hallway. Oh no! Uh, there we go. We're down. A, we're down a guard. Hi, guard. I'm working perfectly. Is that? And you hear a bit of a muffled noise out there. Can I make myself invisible and go peek? You absolutely can. I really like would... to say go pee. <laughs> I have no idea why. I mean, sometimes you have to do that in the middle of the night. <laughs> Make yeah. yourself invisible and go pee. <laughs> All right, invisible, and then this is the this is the door, right? Yes. Okay. You see nothing. Oh. <laughs> you do to see nothing where you are. You'll have to step out a little bit further to see anything. Where did it happen? All right, something's not working correctly. Yeah. It's because Hawk has our party vision. No, no, that's not why. Um, well, I mean, that's why it is over there. Um, but something on my screen is not working right. Give me one. Yeah, second. I was gonna say you can see it in Fantasy Grounds, but there we go. That's what I wanted to happen. happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see why I was and giving you party vision so that the stream can see it as well. So you see two thugs, two guys in, in just wrapped in cold weather gear standing outside. One of them, uh, the further one away from you, is looking away from you. Uh, it seems like he, he's uh, locking this door here. Oof. And then you hear uh, a voice from around the corner. I I did what you want. Just let me go. Just uh, there's there's no one else in there. Let's go get the cauldron and get the hell out. 
and they got um, these thugs start walking down the hall. <laughs> um, I question if Answer. I know that like possessions and like your clothing is invisible. Like, is my raven invisible? Uh, yes. Okay. Unless, um, unless she flies off your shoulder. I was going to say, can I send her to kind of cause a commotion around their heads? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, this raven takes off. Why are there three now? I was just thinking. Swoops down at, uh, <laughs> and swoops down at these, these thugs and just starts, like, pecking away. And they're like, oh, what, what the hell's going on? Eh, eh. And they're just kind of swatting away, and they're, they're distracted. They've stopped their movement. All right, um, I'm going to go back in and wake everybody the fuck up. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> you just avoided a surprise round. Ooh, finally! <laughs> <laughs> um, we got one on them. Go, go, go! So I'm kind of frantically, like, nudging everybody and, like, kind of, like, lightly, like, kicking them with my foot, being like, guys, you need to get up. Um, there's people coming inside. They're after the cauldron. We need to do something. Yeah, roll some initiative. All right. Oh. Yay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, will, will we get a surprise round because they don't know that anyone's in here, but we know that they're out there? And... On their perception check. Well, I snore like a motherfucker. So. <laughs> <laughs> So they definitely know you're in there. They know that there is a wild boar. I'm still last. In, in there. A wild beast. No, they already said there's nobody else in there. So they don't know you're there. But I don't know that I was asleep. All right. Uh, so, Mona. It's always first. <laughs> Edgar, you forgot to roll your uh, potion again, didn't you? Well, I just woke up, so. Oh, fair. Fair. Um, question, are there any, like, candles lit in the room, or is it yes. dark? Oh, there is, there is some candles. Um, can I use prestidigitation to snuff them out? The room goes dark. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to back into this corner right here and wait for them to open the door. That's right. Ooh, lighting can, effects. I can change lighting effects. I've been playing with the effects Ooh. today. <clears throat> Fancy. All right. Uh, All right, that's my turn. Cool. Edgar. You were up. Um, do I have time to set up, uh, so I can hold an action, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm going to hold a spell, and the way I'm going to do it is I am going to quickly, <clears throat> the door is closed, right? It is open. Oh, it is open. oh. oh did you close it? No, you, you didn't say you closed it, so... I figured I did, but it... You have it to had, say it, it had been, oh, it had been I know, open sorry, time. that's my bad. Then, okay, then yes, it is open. Um, then I am going to pass the potion from my, from my pouch to... Nobody else in here is really going to get helped by this. Um, no one's gonna get helped by this. I'm just gonna, uh, hand it to Mona and say, if you drink this, it'll change your appearance. Uh. <laughs> do with that whatever you want. So you step, um, so you I'm step going forward to... to do that? Yeah, I stepped next to Mona and handed her, handed her the potion. Perfect. And then... I'm going to tuck myself back into this corner and I'm going to hold uh, 
an action of fairy fire until one of the one of the people enters the room. All right, noted. Uh, Huck. Uh huh. Uh, this requires me to see someone poop. No, oh. that's fine. Uh, I am going to cast Ensnaring Strike on myself. Okay. And ready an, as a bonus action, and then ready an action to take a shot at the first non guard, non speaker thug guy. That nice. Walks through. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so he's like, you gotta, hey, how's it going now? <laughs> uh, why don't you go ahead and roll that then? Because a thug turns the corner and he looks in, hey. and he's definitely brandishing his weapons. He's ready for you. Uh, he did, in fact, hear Edgar's uh, snoring and then snoring stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he heard. <laughs> um. Uh, yes, our my, small dog is in garbage fire? disposal and eats everything. <sighs> can, the, can the fairy fire go off before the uh, arrow? Yeah, you readied that first, so I'll allow that. Yep. Sweet. Uh, let's... What's the... Uh... Uh, it's a dexterity saving throw on my part, buddy. Uh, control click on each of them and drop the saving throw. I can only see one of them. All right, so you can only do... It's, it's actually well, it's, area of effect. It is area effect. It's, it's an area cube. effect. 20 foot cube. Here, I can uh, actually... I can give I you... I uh, just quickly cards. step in the hallway. There you go. Nope. I can do it for you. Okay, that works. You're good. You have your targets. Oh, perfect. And then I just... Thug, thug, thug. Oh, wait, the dice. Thug, thug, thug. Thug, thug, <laughs> thug, thug. Let's see here. We've got... A failure, a failure, and a success. Uh, so now what you're going to do is take the um, the thing on there that looks like a little guy, the effects token, and drop it on them. Yep. And the two that it will grant advantage to are now marked. And unluckily for I'm you, it is at, not the but... guy in the door. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's, that's fine. So that guy, like, dodges out of the way, and you just hear, what the, around the corner. <laughs> They're all now glowing. Yep. Except for that guy. That's a miss. Good. Okay. That's all. All right. That was Hawk. Never mind. That was yeah. it. Cool. So now this thug is going to charge in. I'm going to attack you, Hawk. Because you just tried mm. to shoot him. 23. That mm. hits you, right? Very close to a crit. There. <laughs> Bobby. And, Just ooh, nice. It deals eight oh, points sorry. of damage to you. This guy's gonna charge in, and he's going to. Uh, he's gonna actually come over here, and he's gonna attack you, Edgar. Oh, please no. <laughs> I'm just a little. I'm just a little mad. And I never miss. Did nothing so he swings over your head. And actually clangs into the cauldron. <laughs> Reminder to untarget the uh, two thugs. Okay. Who, me? Yeah, don't worry about it, I got it. Just so your next attack doesn't hit everyone. And uh, the third thug comes in and is to... Uh, uh, he's going to go after uh, Mina because he wouldn't have seen Mona there in the corner. And misses you. Oh, I'm sorry. They all have multi-attack, so I need to do some more attacks. Oh, good. Oh. Uh, so this one's attacking you again, Hawk, and misses. This one is attacking you again, Edgar. And very misses. <laughs> oh, I still haven't installed the fumble table. I really have to do that to see what happens. To and you guys when you... <laughs> and last but oh, not least, one more against Mina. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm so glad that I went back and I rolled their multi-attacks. Mina, you're up. <laughs> Mina, roll me a perception check. Mm. Hang on. Move. 
Oh no! <laughs> She's making a very good face. <laughs> <laughs> That's relatable. Stand by. We are having technical difficulties. Has anyone seen the the joke from the, I think early 1900s about um, the gorilla noises? No. Hang on, hang on. Did you just ask us if anyone had heard a joke from 120 years ago about gorilla noise? Yeah, it's been circulating. It's, it's 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 been circulating around the internet. It's like a gorilla asks a police officer. Did you hear about the gorilla that escaped from the zoo the other night? And the police officer says no, and the gorilla says, that's because I'm a very quiet gorilla. And then <laughs> the caption is muffled gorilla noises. Oh, I have seen that. <laughs> oh, when you said there are muffled noises from the hallway, my mind immediately went to muffled gorilla noises. <laughs> gorilla noises. <laughs> like the, gu the guard walks out and just sees a gorilla staying there, and he says, I'm a very quiet gorilla. <laughs> just a muffled tussle. It's just what I think about. Yep, that's when I do work at a zoo. We don't have gorillas, so like. But we do have spider monkeys. Oh, I love spider monkeys. Yeah, they're so sweet. My favorite stuffed animal as a kid was a spider monkey. We have one named Amy who's been separated from the other for a bit because she's got some fluid in her lungs, so they're giving her heart medication. Oh. Um, and she is so cute. Every time I go in there and sit with her, she just makes little little monkey noises and sits with her. Quiet monkey so noises. Closures, so I could like scratch her back. She's really oh. good. Please send me pictures if you have pictures. I also like how human her name is. Amy. Oh yeah, they're, they're the Amy's spider <laughs> Right. Have a lot uh, of Sean is working on reconnecting, so in the meantime, I'm going to roll that um, perception check that I wanted her to roll so that I know that if I need to tell her something, she comes back. And then we're going to just go ahead and uh, move on with the order, and I'll give her some extra. Okay. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, you guys can't see my dice rolls, uh, but that was hovering on... <laughs> all right uh mona you're up all right um i am going to cast eldritch blast right. on this man <laughs> do it so on this one right in front of you I uh, need, yes. I just need you to roll that one more time because you are doing a ranged attack from melee range, so you're rolling at disadvantage. Okay, do I need to put that... No, just roll it again. Um, okay, sorry. It would just yep. be a straight roll. Yeah. Yep, just a straight Or Or at disadvantage. It's cool, too. Oh, it already did... Oh, no, it did it at advantage. Weird. Yeah, okay. because, um, because of... It was um, fairy fire and invisible. Yeah. Yes, correct. Uh, so it would have been just... Written. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> yes, you hit. Congratulations, all your damage. So Mona, from right next to this guy, just like pats him on the shoulder and then releases the Eldritch Blast just as her fingertips leaves his shoulder. Mm. How much damage you do? Oh. <laughs> Max damage. And his shoulder is no longer there. <laughs> and this guy just like contact. screams in pain. <laughs> Like putting a shotgun against some bad. Yeah. Sure. Um, he's in severe pain. Uh, it looks like Sean just reconnected to Fantasy Ground, so hopefully she'll be back in. Um... Nope. Uh, laptop, desktop, and phone are all down, so it's gonna be a while before <gasps> she gets back in. So we're just gonna assume we've lost her for tonight, and that's fine. I will roll some things for her. So since I know that, oh, I will go back. Oh, oh cool. she can she can talk through the chat. Oh, that's all right. Guess I'm going old fashioned. <laughs> I use I use I use the drawer. I use the key on the drawer. All right, I'm just gonna figure out that it is her turn, and hopefully she'll roll some things. Let's see how this goes. 
Also, sorry, is um, drinking a potion a bonus action? Depends on the type of potion. If it is a health potion, yes, I have, I have house rule that that is a bonus action. If it is any other type of potion, it is a full action. I am assuming that what Greg handed me is any other type of potion, so I will wait. Yes, <laughs> okay. it is a potion of alter self. Ooh. Ooh. That's deep. So you can, you can actually get, like, natural weapons, or you can give yourself a swimming speed. Or you, you could make yourself look like somebody else. Ooh. I need to get me one of those in real life. <laughs> nope. Lost her again. All right. So. No. Just going to go to her actions, and she's going to smack this guy with her mace, because it's the easiest thing to do. And... Hits and deals. Nice, seven points of damage. So, Samina so just kind of looks up at the guy and just underhand swings and just clocks the guy underneath the chin. And he stumbles back a little. Uh, and we already did Mona's turn. Correct? Yep, you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> Edgar, you are up. Okay, um. These guys are really close to my space, and I don't have much to do physically. Nobody is hurt, so I'm going to slip my hand back into the into my galvanizing gauntlet, and, and I am going to cast Shocking Grass on the guy who was swinging at me. Yeah, yeah, makes Ooh. sense. I'd do the same. Ooh. Natural twenty, very nice. Um, I should, I should say that this is. I'm not going for lethal. I am trying to knock him out. You just critted with a lightning weapon. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Let's <laughs> let's see how this goes. Likely story, Greg. Uh, why didn't that roll crit damage? Oh, I oh, because you didn't drop it on him. on him. So. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna let you. I'm gonna let you roll that again because that is sad. But it's in line with Edgar. It's non-lethal. It's the if you most non-lethal like crit. Hey, the dice rolled it. I'm keeping it. All right, fair enough. Yes. I was being nice. Hawk, you're up. So as you guys see, as he put, he slips his gauntlet on and he slams his hand and he's like, "I'm not gonna hurt you." And then you you just hear a. Pzz, yeah, he looks at his leg. He's like, "No, you're clearly not." <laughs> uh, okay. This fellow in front of me. I'm going to activate Planar Warrior. Yeah. Yep. And try to scimitar him. Sure. Pray I hit. There we 15. go. Or 20, sorry. 15 Wonderful. roll, 20 hit. And uh, I kind of weigh it in my hand. <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> and do an upswing. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, nice, 12 also, points of damage. So as the scimitar on. swings through the air, it... Ah, uh... oh, damn. Okay. It transmutes itself into a frying pan, and you just hear clang as it slams into his face. He's like, "What is with all these cooking utensils?" <laughs> and now it is his turn. Ed is <laughs> That went well. Wow. All right, next one is going to attack Mina. Well, we'll try not to kill while she's dis disconnected. All right, that's a hit. So this one takes his mace and he just slams it down into Mina's shoulder and it just, you hear a crunch. And then, um... Oh. Attacks again. And misses this time. 
And then the last thug. Get a swing. Hey. Hey, Sean, you're back. Hey. I made it. I just dealt five damage to you. <laughs> I wasn't here. Uh, yep. So welcome back. Okay, you, you, you hit them too. Okay, good. As long as I hit them. Um, And then, oh, I just got, sorry. This must be an advantage. Oh, Edgar gets critted. <laughs> this guy <laughs> tosses his club. He's like, it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. And he slams his club down into his uh, mace, <laughs> down into your face. And deals uh, 10 points of damage. And your constant. Uh, I will let you roll that concentration. Uh, it apparently is auto doing concentration, which I need to turn off, but I always let my players roll their own saves. So can I get a concentration save, please? Yes. What kind of save? It is a constitution saving throw. Uh, you <laughs> were dealt 10 damage, so that your DC is 10. There you go. All right. So let me get those uh, grant advantages back on um, those two guys. Got a 19 on my nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. In fact, it was this guy and this guy. And let me just go in real quick. See if I can't find it. I'm looking for it now, so you you can continue. I'll find it later. Uh, all right. Uh, so that was that guy's second attack uh, that he hit you like that on Edgar. So Mina, you are up. Oh, good. Hold on, I I haven't appeared yet. It's true, you have not. The uh, screen there, is up. There is a guy directly in front of you. Hold on, I'm almost there. There you go, I see you in game. Uh, Alrighty, okay, so there's a guy right in front of me still? Uh, yes, there's three guys in front of you. You see? Yeah. The one in front of you looks like he uh, has a decent amount of damage done to him. Alrighty. I am then going to shoot one of the guys that doesn't look like he's had a lot of damage done to him. So I am going to Tiny Stark this guy. Alright, I need you to actually re-roll that and... Uh... Roll it at disadvantage, so it'll be a normal roll because you're doing a ranged attack at uh, within melee range. Oh, I could just hit him with my mace. You could. That's what I made you do. I'm going to do that then. All right. Roll that attack for me, and this time it will be at advantage. And uh, 10 oh, plus... That's... that's 15. That's a hit. Awesome. Ba -da -ba. Let me do the correct damage. Yeah. I did max damage. That's good. Nice. Nine points of damage to this guy. And uh, it did not. Damage used to go. <laughs> and... Shh. Mona, that is you. Unless, Mina, you would like to move or anything. Mina? Oh, sorry, what? Did you want to move? trying to get my, my internet working again. Did you want to move? No, I don't really have anywhere to go. Fair enough. Other oh. than a step to the right. Well, oh. the left. The right. Mona, you're up. All right. Um, I... I saw how well it worked last time. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on my friend right um, right in front of me here. Sure. It's going to be a disadvantage again, so just click disadvantage and it'll roll it normal for you. Yep. Oh, or it... maybe it won't. Nope. Sorry. My bad. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll let it hit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want me to do it again? No, we're five minutes away from end time. 
You're good. Oh, okay. okay, sorry. <laughs> and then roll damage. And you only oh, have two on. damage, so. Oh. <laughs> I used it all up last time. <laughs> Edgar, you are up. So again, just Mona's just like blasting away at this guy. So as he's knocked a little bit off kilter by the blast, but probably not a huge amount, um, I'm going to, from my position on the ground where he beat me into, I'm going to reach up with my with my um, glove and cast shock and grasp by grabbing his the haft of his mace. Aha. That's not where I thought that sentence was going, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 18, 23. That is a hit. All right. And you do That'll more be... than two damage this time. Yep. Hey, yeah. yeah. Eight points of damage, and this guy, you just watch is just, you're, and he just, like, is spasming in, in face. He's still up, but uh, he is severely injured at this point. Anything else? And now he can, he cannot take reactions until no, the start no. of his next turn. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, if I can, w- with my hand on the half of his weapon, just sort of pull forward and then fling myself sliding along the ground between his legs and try to get myself out the door. All right. So I'm going to give you an, uh, well, he can't take reactions. Um, I'm going to let you do using some alternate. Uh, no, cause that takes a full action to do. So you can get well, halfling nimbleness. I can move through the space of any of a creature of any size larger than me. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm going to let you get past the guy. That's fine. Um, so you can go, you okay. can get to here just fine in order to get out the room, just so you know, you will invoke two more acts of opportunity. They might not take them, but you will invoke them. Uh, uh, <laughs> I did just put myself in a bad spot. Let's see. Well, Do I have any spells that I can use? Ooh, um, a as a bonus action, as I did, well, can't but, trip. Uh, it can't. Yep. So as a bonus action, I can cast an additional spell. So I will cast Expeditious Retreat on myself by, by um, cracking go. a vial of slightly puffy, some, something that reacts fast and will create a puff of smoke so I can uh, take the da- Oh, it's just the dax- dash action. Never mind. That one actually helped me. Um, Is it just the dash action? Yes. Yeah, it allows you to take the dash action yeah. as a bonus action. <laughs> and it's concentration, so it would get rid of my fairy fire. Correct. So instead, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and move out the out of the room. Right. E- either they'll be too focused on the people who've actually hurt them to do anything to me, or they'll swing and maybe splatter me into a wall. Check. <laughs> So they are too distracted by the people they are fighting to take a swing at you, and you manage to get out the door. The hallway is empty, and, uh, yeah. All right. I'm standing outside the door, because that's as far as I can move. (laughs) Hawk, you are up. Slashy slash with the frying pan. (laughs) It's a very (laughs) sharp frying pan. You ever been hit with, like, a cast iron frying pan? True. I, uh, yeah. I, I get hit with a, a cast iron frying pan every summer. Greg has watched it happen. <laughs> cast iron. Mm. <laughs> cast <Not fair>. rubber. <laughs> uh, yeah, damage was dealt. Uh, yeah, so you hit and you slam your frying pan into the chest of this guy, and uh, you hear a rib crack as you slam him in. And yet. There's also see a slash mark as well because it's still slashing damage. Um, and anything else for you? Nope. All right. It is till next level. It can't do much. It is now their turn. So this guy, he's gonna kind of look around and see that it, his target is missing, and then he's gonna lock eyes with uh, with Mona over here. Take a couple of swings. Invisible is still active. Oh. Oh, did you have you've cast spells though, so you are not invisible. 
Okay, yeah, I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Just on. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna second it. Go off. Okay. All right. He's not having much luck, so he swings at you, and you just kind of like ducking back into the corner. Uh, Excellent. And now this guy, this next guy, is going to attack Ina. Oops. All right, so that is a hit. Okay. Deals uh, six points of damage to you as he slams his mace into you. And then for his second attack, uh, another hit with a 20. And deals a whopping three more points of damage to you. Okay. And this last guy is going to take a... Swing at Hawk. He swings at Hawk. Uh, that is a 23 and a 7. So one hit. Deals oof, 8 points of damage to you as he slams his mace into your side and you hear a rib crack again. Mm. This Familiar. time it's not from him. Vina, you're up. All right. I am gonna do the same thing again. And bash the dude in front of me this time. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. That is a hit. X. Wow. All right, apparently they're very, very easy to hit. They are thugs. Max damage again. Hooray! And I the how we scream. Drops him. Uh, as you drop him, you notice. Uh, roll me a perception real quick. And actually, can I get uh, Edgar? Can you roll me a perception as well? Sure. Gonna be bad. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Rob, as a heads up, uh, Sean is not showing up on stream. Oh, yep. Uh, sorry, I had turned it off so we weren't just seeing your frozen face before. <laughs> I appreciate that. You were making an excellent face. <laughs> um, I saw it, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, so I turned that off. Thank you for reminding me. So, yeah, um, you, uh, Sean, you see as this guy collapses a tattoo of a snake on his forehead. And uh, yep, Edgar, you see the floor as you cower in fear outside of the door. <laughs> uh, okay. Mona, you're up. Um, I um, sorry. Can you remind me what the potion Edgar gave me? Allows it's alter self. It, is, it allows you to potion of alter self change so, into something else. Yes. But, so you can change your appearance. You can um, grow fangs, spines, horns, or another natural weapon. If you do, it deals one d six bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage, depending on the type of natural weapon, and and you get plus one bonus to the attack and damage rolls you make using it. Um, you said I can grow fangs to, like, attack with? Yeah. Um. I will put out there, it does take a full action to drink this potion right now. And these two guard, these two thugs looks like, look like they are on the edge of the end of their ropes. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to do another Eldritch Blast on the thug who is right next to me. Sure. Disadvantage, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> will be canceled out, so it should just roll it as natural. Um, but yeah, oh. click disadvantage. Why is it not doing it? Oh, no, it just rolled a disadvantage. Uh, but you dropped a 6 out of there, so it would have been a 12, which... Actually, I think, yeah. 12 hits? Yeah, yeah 12 hits. My 12 hits, so. That's a hit. Five points yeah. of damage. 
You are whittling this guy down to nothing. This damage not being dealt to him. He keeps getting healed for some reason. <laughs> Maybe he has magic powers even you don't know about. <laughs> I dictate magic powers. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. So I just dealt 10 damage to it in two increments of five. And it dealt five damage and then it healed for five. Weird. Uh, Edgar, you're up. I think this guard this guy has been dead a while ago. <laughs> uh, he. Which which way did they come down from? The only way to come down into the basement. There is a staircase right here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for whatever door that. I'm gonna go try and figure out what happened to those guards. Sure. <laughs> Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I'm going to, I am going to do expeditious retreat on myself. So I so you, take you don't out have to do that. You can, you can use your action to dash and opening a door. If it's not locked will be uh, a interactive object. You don't have to burn a spell slot. Okay. Then closest door is north here. Or north or south. I'll try to north. So you open the door, and there's no one inside. Okay. Can I interact with the door to the south, too? Uh, no, you can only do one per turn. Oh, okay. okay. All right. That's me. Uh, Hawk, you are up. Slashy, slashy. With pain, why does it keep changing it from action to that? Okay. And my internet is back. Hooray. Oh. Hey. That is a hit. Oh. on me, but I can get back into that. But these guys are really easy to pick. Apparently. And so you take your scimitar and you just grab him by the shoulder and you just kind of slash it across his chest while holding on to him and he just collapses. To cool with that. And this last thug is going to take his action to disengage. 20, 30. And he's getting the fuck out of here. Just make sure. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Alright, uh, so that was his turn. Uh, Mina, you are up. This guy just booked it out of there. What are you doing, Sean? I'm trying to get back into Fantasy Grounds. Oh, it kicked you out again? Yeah, just because I switched from hotspot to actual Wi-Fi. Got I'll it. be in in a mm. second. I'm almost... Well, just to give you a heads up, the, the guard, or the thug that you were fighting just ran out the door. Um, what's your... Um, Is there still another one in front of me, or did somebody oh. die? Oh, somebody died. Nice job, Hawk. Well, no, then no enemies I'm going to run out the door as far as I can towards him. Actually, no. Stop me right there. Back right. it up. Yep. <laughs> now I can shoot him. Yep. Tiny Stark. It. Tiny Stark. <clears throat> Tiny Stark. No. Roll a Sorry. disadvantage now. No. Uh, 17 yes. hits. Ooh. He gonna be dead in a just a second. I hope. Nope. <laughs> Still yes. Oh, yeah. But not for any efforts of you. <laughs> Yay. So as he's running, he gets another couple of steps and the electricity <laughs> just slams into his back and he slumps to the ground dead. The saddest part is I was barely here for any of the fight and I killed two of them. <laughs> <laughs> MVP. It's true that that is what happened. Um, <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> hey, Mina's good like that. So, uh, oh, that's not wrong. Yeah. Sorry, the the guards had despawned, so I had to 
put them back. Oop, I just dragged Mona away. Sorry. <laughs> Making everyone fly She's all over the place. <laughs> all right, so we are out of initiative order now. Uh, Edgar, you are going to try to open all these doors and find your guards? Uh, yeah. So you open... But is that something that would be... Why are you the one doing that? I do have to go for the night as a heads up. Yeah, oh, yeah it is 11.09. I was going to say, apologize. should so we actually, resolve this? this? Is where we're going to end oh. tonight, and we will resolve this uh, in two weeks' time. <laughs> thank you. I lost track of time. Uh, so thank you all for joining us again as we uh, ventured back into Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maid, and we will be back in two weeks' time for real to continue on with the, these four miscreants. So thank you all very much, and uh, we will Close see enough. you in a couple of weeks. Have a lovely night.